You know, we had comedian Tommy Davidson on the show. You know him best from his days on In Living Color. He had the entire studio audience laughing out loud <laughs> and our staff when we shot this bit. This is one of my favorite two-minute warnings of all time. Take a look. Tommy, a lot of classic sketches on In Living Color. What is your all-time favorite? Uh, probably MC Hammer. Hammer time! Every time you see me, the hammer's on the road. Do I get the square? The red square? Is that gonna be How did MC Hammer react to that sketch? Uh, he, uh, he didn't, actually. He was, at the time, he was really broke. So, we never got a call. Uh, how does Sylvester Stallone order coffee? Uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, I, I want something that's gonna pick me up, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I, I need to have a lot of them in a row, and, and they all gotta be like the same, and I gotta, gotta be ready to repeat them. It's sort of like roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How would President Obama order coffee? Well, it would take a long time, uh, because first of all, he'd have to address the whole uh, restaurant. Is it a restaurant? No, it's, it's kind of a cafe. And he'd come in, and he'd probably look at the children, and he'd say, children need education. He'd probably look at the homeless outside and say, uh, the homeless need homes. Whoa. He'd probably look at the uh, the women in the back and, and, and the workers and say, um, they need health care. But then he'd finally order it. And then he'd order it. If you were not a comedian, what would you be doing? I'd be a chef, because if you can cook, you can always have a woman. Mm. You can have an argument, and you're like, ta-da, and she's like, oh, all right, you're lucky you made me these wings. <laughs> I'll make you a better one. Get them big jungle rut alligator feet off mine, man. You were in the movie Booty Call. What's the strangest booty call you've ever received? Let's just say two words, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Walk off, the dramatic walk -off. Yeah, because it looks good. It, it's just like, you know, they do that a lot in the Muppets. That's how they make the Muppets look action. So don't move, stay free. And see, the Muppets can kind of do this, and then they kind of go off. Are you a big fan of the Muppets? <laughs> Huge fan of the Muppets. Yeah? Yeah. Name as many Muppets as you can in five seconds. Go. Uh, Kermit, uh, hmm. Big Bird. Well, Oscar's a Muppet. He is? Yeah, he's a dirty one. You were I loved him the best out of everybody. You did? Why? Yeah, because he gave it to the kids straight. You know, if, if Big Bird couldn't teach him, or Snuffleupagus couldn't teach him, or Kermit couldn't teach him, they'd go over to the trash can. And he was always real honest. Let me tell you a little <laughs> what's really going on. I'll take it straight. Two and two make four every <laughs> time. Now get out of here. you were on Living Color, of course. Did you ever want to punch Homie D Clown in the face? No, but my mother kept saying, why they got to hit you? They had 10 people in the cast, and you the one getting the sock box. <laughs> That's not like a sock hop, which was... Uh, the way white America celebrated dance back in the 50s when blacks weren't allowed in ice cream shops. <laughs> uh, how would Sammy Davis Jr. end this segment? And so they went to Windy City Live. And then they slapped them five. And then they said they knew what the best show. And now I must go. Thank <laughs> you.